Hello ladies and gentlemen, Random Gamer Riven here with another delisted video and from this title screen alone you probably know exactly what game this is. Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe and certainly if you lived in the United Kingdom during the 80s and 90s you would have almost certainly played of or heard Speedball 2 as the Blitmap Brothers are hugely well known cult developers from that period. Perhaps not so more of your US player and gamer but in the UK they were big and their games are still widely respected even today. Now this version of Speedball 2 was published by the Empire in 2007 on the Xbox 360 and what was quite interesting about this one is as you can see here these are the original Amiga visuals. Now this is actually running at 60 frames a second which I think is slightly faster than the original game was ever intended to run at because it was originally a PAL developed game so I think it was supposed to run at 50 or 25 frames and to me this did feel a touch fast this version compared to how it should have played but it's still nice to play this these sort of iconic visuals of Speedball 2 and it was great that this version actually included them. Now this is an interesting version because this was delisted way back in 2009. Empire released it in 2007 and then in 2009 unfortunately Empire went bust. And oddly enough, a few of my work colleagues at the time, because I was working in the industry at this point, uh, actually knew people who were working at Empire when it all went, sadly, belly up. This was one of the many casualties from the Xbox Live service. Another one was the Xbox 360 release of Double Dragon as well. But what was interesting about this release, as I mentioned, this is the last version of Speedball 2 you could get with the original graphics. Now, okay, it doesn't include all of them, sadly. You only get the uh, match graphics in the classic sort of 2D look. The animation for like the victories and the sort of losing in the menus are the sort of newer menu look. And this newer menu used in this one isn't that nice. They went for, you can actually change the visual styles between this one and, in fact, I'm going to do two exhibition matches basically. So you'll see the other, after we played this match, you'll see the other 3D visual style, style which looks rather ugly. It's not great. Really interesting me about this is that I could find no barely any other videos on this title. In fact, I was pretty gobsmacked. I didn't realize how forgotten the Xbox 360 version of Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe was. Now, that's not to say there are other versions of Speedball 2. You can buy a version on the PS3 that's still available. In fact, I actually purchased it yesterday after I saw it. But OK, I'll see what that version was like. And that's actually Speedball 2 Evolution. Although that's that's clearly based on the original code, but that does have a few changes. So nice people players get injured a lot between a few other things, but it uses sort of similar visuals. That's actually still available on PS3. There's also Speedball 2 HD on Steam, which is again based on the Evolution version on PS3, PS3, but this sort of has additional changes and extras. Both those versions were done by Tower Games. This was done by Empire, I believe. I, the Bitmap Brothers are credited. I'm not entirely sure if they were just a licensing arm at this point. But this is the last version to use the classic graphics and that classic audio and, you know, the ice cream, ice cream and all the background sounds. It's a really interesting version and it, it's one of those ones that I think people probably forgot was actually on Xbox Live now because it's not that common to get. Apparently there was download content as well, although I don't remember what it was, sadly. I saw a trailer that suggested it was uh, skins for stages in the new 3D mode, so... And because this version is so obscure, it seems, I'm actually going to say if anyone wants to see more footage, please like this video and um, reply in the comments below and I might do a few matches in tournament mode. So that, as you see, is the classic graphics. Apologies for talking over the match and a few you probably won't hear some of the sound effects. Yep, that's the classic match. And now I'm going to go to the newer 3D visuals and play another exhibition match. This is the enhanced visuals. Now there are actually three camera angles. You have a slightly diagonal one, slightly less diagonal one, and there is a straight top down one. I'll let you be the judge of this. My only positive I can say is that Speedball 2 HD on Steam looks less HD than this, but the 3D visuals in this just don't look very good. Well, I think one of the problems is they stuck to the original 2D animations, and Speedball 2 perhaps didn't have as much animation as it was an early Amiga game, say the later ones, and I think they could have done a lot more sort of really nicer animations, sort of injuries and 
all sorts of things had they done, say, a Speedball 3 on the Amiga much later, sort of 93, 94. Sadly, there's never been a Speedball 3, and I think the series is one that you can really develop this franchise now. It's such a good game, and you could take this and really develop it. I think they've sort of hung on to Speedball 2 for so long. It, it's dated a little bit, and I think that you could really update this format to bring a Speedball 3 into the modern age and make it an even better game than Speedball 2. So one of the changes there, you see you get like a, like a replay window for them in the map rather than the sort of classic where it was sort of replay the thing you also don't get the the winning pose animation of the guy although you see the guy sliding down and if you look in the top left corner in the sort of old classic version you actually get sort of win pose there was also pictures for when the guys were being carted off as well by the robots because they were injured so i'm going to post a few comparison screenshots on the blog between the two there into the graphic styles it's annoying the old graphics are in such a small window I assume they're literally using like an Amiga emulator or something they're running at the Amiga the actual resolution because that's the sort of tiny window they should be running it because I'm not entirely sure of the pixel aspect of the Amiga for Speedball 2 but it was probably 200 and something they see these visuals don't look that good but yeah if you do want to see more Speedball 2 coverage particularly this version since there seems to be so little on YouTube and a lot of sites in fact even a few of the delisted game sites didn't include this version so I'll include a link in the descriptions for some of the other versions of Speedball 2 available but this version has been delisted now for a very long time Okay, that's all I'm going to say on this matter. Hope you've enjoyed this quick look. Again, if you want to see more, because I know there's so little footage of this on YouTube, please let me know, and I'll do a video without commentary of a few matches in both stars. Maybe even change the camera angle in this one as well. Maybe do a bit of a tournament or something. Anyway, as always, I've been your host, Random Game Riven, and you know the drill. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to get more notifications from us, hit that bell button.